Hi everyone, welcome back after almost a year away to another episode of Let's Explore, my very occasional series where I try and do some live testing on camera, warts and all, and we see what I managed to find. Uh, there's a particular reason why I wanted to record a session today, so I will crack straight into it. Um, let's explain how a Let's Explore session works. So I will have a mission or objective that I'm setting out to achieve, and I will be going in blind and doing as little research beforehand as possible so that you get to see exactly my thought process you get to see me getting stuck and work out how to unstick myself, which, as the slide says, will include lots of searching on Google or Stack Overflow for the solutions to problems. And it's just to reinforce the idea that mistakes are a part of the process. We learn by making mistakes uh, and hopefully we can have some fun along the way as well. Uh, and also I'll publish some resources online afterwards. Um, I'm going to be producing a mind map today, so I'll make sure that's linked in the uh, video description. So what am I testing today? Well, uh, I've uh, avid user of the website Racket, I'll give you a quick tour of it in a second. They have just launched a new feature today allowing you to search on the site. It went live at the time of recording probably about four or five hours ago, I think, was the first time I noticed it. And I've been itching to get my hands on it and to see how it works or how it might break. Uh, so I wanted to do that live on camera for you uh, for your benefit of seeing how we test and potentially for the Racket team's benefit if we spot anything particularly weird or wrong. Uh, so. Uh, the website is www.racket.com. It's a, a social network that allows you to record short nine minute audio blogs. So it's like a, a spoken version of Twitter, I guess, in many ways, or a, a platform for mini podcasts. Uh, it's a website where you can, it's free to sign up, but you'll need to get at least 10 followers to follow you before you are allowed to start recording. Uh, but uh, I advise you to have, have a look on the site. It's free to, to sign up and browse uh, and see whether it's for you. Let me, very inelegantly, because it's a new laptop and a new studio, so I'm very unfamiliar with what's going on here. I'm just going to switch across to my browser, and I'm going to bring up a mind map window that I might be using in a second. Uh, so this on the left here, uh, I'll make it a bit bigger briefly, is the uh, is the racket interface. Uh, apparently I can't make it any bigger than that right now. Um, you'll see at the top, there's a, a nice search bar. On the right-hand side, you can see a load of content. So up until the search um, feature has been released, the main way to actually browse racket is either to go and look at, for example, new rackets, um, this is everything that's been posted, starting with the very most recent thing. And there's a few things there. Uh, you can look at trending rackets, um, so what's been popular lately. There we go. There's some things you see that they've got much higher view counts because they've been around for a while and they're popular. And top rackets, I believe, is the top of all time. You'll see there are some monumental numbers on some of these. Um, so, yeah, those are a few ways that you can browse. Or if you know who you're looking at, hey, look at me, number two on the leaderboard this week. Um, you can jump onto someone's profile and then you will see... Uh, Emna here, for example, is currently leading for the week, a fellow tester, and you'll see here are the posts that Emna has put out most recently. But if I go back to the homepage, it's that search bar that we're interested in looking at today. And why it's particularly interesting for me as a tester and as an example of testing is, at first glance, it looks really straightforward. It's a text box, right? You type in some text and you hit enter and something happens. And when you present the situation to a potential uh, interview candidate, for example, Sometimes people will dry up and they'll, you know, they'll say, oh, I'll type in the word test and I'll see what comes back. And if it works, it works. But what I'm hoping, we're going to go for about 30 minutes today, if I remember to keep an eye on the clock. Um, what I'm hoping you'll see is that within 30 minutes, there is no danger of running out of ideas. The number of avenues you can go down, the number of avenues you can lose yourself in and have to pull yourself back out of in order to go and look at other things that may be more important right now uh, is, is monumental. Um, so that's what, what we're going to do. We're going to look at it. Um, I will say we're not going to, because this is a, a live production website, I do say on these videos, what I'm not going to do is try and do like a, a, a SQL injection attack through here, or that's something you might want to do. Um, if, for example, you, you thought they might be using a SQL database, I'm not going to do anything like a, I'm not going to hammer it with thousands of submissions a second to see if I can bring the site down, because I probably can, and I definitely shouldn't. Um, but what we'll do is we're just going to do a browse through. You'll, you'll see a bit of my thought process of, of trying to learn how this works. And the interesting thing about this that differs from, from my day-to-day -day work is, when I'm working on something normally, uh, I will know what the team is building. I'll be given like a specification or what we call a user story, which is a list of, here is what we want it to do. Here is the behavior we expect to see. Now for this feature, I don't have that. What I could do is try and reverse engineer it. I could try and look at and see if I could work out what they've built. Uh, and that is an interesting exercise in itself. Obviously it's not normally the goal of testing to work out uh, what the behavior actually is. Normally, you're trying to, you, normally you know what the behavior is and you're trying to verify that it, it's working in that way as expected. But uh, a little bit different today. Um, I'm going to make this window a little bit smaller just because I get the feeling my mind map is going to grow quite big. So um, let's start off with something very basic. I've got a mind map here with a central node that just says we're going to test search. Um, I'm just going to call this first node happy paths. Um, 
Um, what I'm not going to bother doing is write down the particular data samples I'm using because I'm recording this on a video. If I care, I can go back, I can watch the videos again, I can retrieve that data. Um, I'm just going to make more notes on the scenarios that I'm doing. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with uh, a really simple word. Why can't I click in that? Uh, now, one of the things that Neil here has got himself today is a multi-monitor setup. Uh, <laughs> what you can't see is that down here is the laptop that I'm actually coding on, the one that you can see on screen, and up here is the one that I'm looking at that's doing my video recording and I can check the stream is working. What I'm not used to doing having two screens is I keep trying to click on the, the, the streaming window, uh, which is not useful because that's not actually a window, that's a video. I need to move my mouse down here where we can now see it. Um, let's see how many times that happens during the video. I'm gonna go really straight forward. I'm gonna type in the word test into this box. Um, there is no search button. That's fairly common these days. I'm gonna assume that if I hit enter, uh, it's gonna do a search for that. We can see in the address bar, it comes back search, term equals test. We can see that by default, it's selected, it looks like there's different categories of things that can be searched. So rackets are, are your main, basically like, like, like your posts are the main things on there. Racketeers are what they call users. Tags are like keywords, like hashtags that you can use to tag your posts with. And volleys is kind of like a, a Q&A feature um, that they, they launched um, relatively recently. Um, there's also, I'm going to start, immediately I'm going to start a later question section, just for things that I, I've noticed and I might come back and look at later. This is, again, so I can park these and come back to them. Um, I'm noticing these categories at the top, and as a user of the site, I know that um, there's also, they have an AMA feature on the site that allows you to um, ask a, uh, a racketeer a question. There's not a filter for AMAs. I assume that's deliberate, but I'm going to just put AMA filter on search results. Uh, just to note the fact that I've noticed they're not there. I'll come back to it later because I don't care right now. Right now what I'm focusing on is the fact that I searched for tests and there are some things here. The most immediate thing that jumped out to me here is it says there are exactly 1,000 rackets that I found that have the word test in. Now, to me, as a tester who notices patterns and things, that seems highly unlikely that I've done a search that has exactly 1,000 results, which suggests to me that one of the features of this search, and I'm going to put in here... Um, um, possible specification. This is the thing that I've extracted. This is like how I think it's behaving. Um, maximum 1,000 rackets and results. In other words, I bet there's probably 1,500 or 1,237 rackets that have the word test in. Um, if I put in an ex another extremely common word like the, it will be interesting to see if this is accepted. Like sometimes a search will filter out really common words, but I bet that the gives us 1,000 results as well. It does indeed. So that looks pretty pretty likely that there are a maximum of a thousand results. If I scroll down this window, we, we have a thousand rackets, but we've got the all filter on. So I assume if I go past rackets, uh, does it paginate? <coughs> Excuse me, it does. And it's a see more rackets. So it shows you the first, is that 10? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yep. Um, first 10 rackets shown with see more. So it looks like that's something that's going on. But beneath these rackets, what have we then got? We've got 58 volleys containing the word the. And again, do we get 10 volleys on this first page? Five. Oh, we only get five. Do we? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Now, I guess that is because volleys are kind of like the lesser child of the site. They, they really want to push rackets. So let's show more rackets because we want to push people towards rackets more. Um, so I'm going to make a note there that, again, first five volleys shown with see more. That seems like part of the feature. Uh, there are tags. <laughs> now, two of these tags are ones that I put in when I was testing tags on the day that they added tags. And if I had been recording a video on that day, you would have seen me creating these two tags uh, where I established, as you can see, through experimentation, I've determined the maximum length of a tag is 100 alphanumeric characters. But there we go. There are tags with the word the in. And it has shown one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Excuse me, I've just had dinner and it's not entirely gone away. Now, that's interesting to me because it's only shown eight tags, which is a fairly arbitrary number. And there's no link to see more. If I hover over tags, no. Um, so again, that's going to specif specification for now. First eight tags shown with a big question mark because it's a bit random and no see more. Now, as the number of tags grows on the site, tags have only been on the site for a week or more maybe. Um, that looks like a gap there that we actually want to be able to see more tags and go to a page, a see more page for tags as well. 
It's found us 493 racketeers, aka users. Uh, again, we're not looking at the data itself yet, but it's only shown on this first page three. So first three racketeers shown with Seymour. And again, we'll drill down into all these other pages later. This is just, I mean, this is through typing in one word. This is what we found so far uh, with Seymour. Um, so we have rackets, volleys, tags, racketeers. Interestingly, the links at the top are in a different order. It's got rackets, racketeers, tags, volleys. You know, it feels like the order in there should be consistent. If we really care about volleys more than racketeers, should volleys, should the order of navigation here not be the same? I'm going to start a possible issue section. Now, again, this is a whole different topic. You know, what is an issue? It's probably functioning as designed. You know, someone has written it in that way. Is it a problem? Well, I noticed it and it's given me pause for thought. So it's it's worthy. You know, it, it suggests maybe there's a, there hasn't been, um, I'm not going to say there hasn't been enough thought put into the UX, but, the, you know, there's a decision that's been, that's just been, just gone ahead and done it. Uh, maybe there wants to be a bit more thought behind it, but it's it's why I'm simply putting possible issues uh, and I'll probably mail these to the racket team later and see if they care about any of them. Um, I'm going to put the first one. Search result headers in different order to page body. Um, again, not the most complex of notes, but I, I can later on go back and play this back and say, well, what prompted me to type that? And I can go and see that. So um, we're still on happy path at the moment. I'm just going to make a note of what I've done. Uh, and I did type in the word test, then the, and these were single word searches. A single word, which amaze, immediately makes me think, again, while I'm in the zone, let's think about, we're going to do multi-word searches. We want to see what happens with those. Um, we want to do, 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 do things like emoji searches. Can you find search results for emojis? Um, what happens if zero results? Actually, that's not happy path. That's a, uh, we'll put that under negative testing. Really difficult to type on one screen and look at the other and keep the two things uh, aligned. But there we go, the negative test written down there. And again, I will expand upon these. Um, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because I want to keep focused and uh, keep things useful for you as well. So um, let's go back and I'm going to change the word again because that is not a very useful thing to analyze whether it's the correct results. Now, it's worth saying in all of this, I just clicked on the wrong damn screen again. Um, normally, if I was test testing a real feature, what I will be doing is, would be checking that the correct results came back. And I'm going to put a completely random word in, then it's it's not going to get confused. Yet. I'm going to type in the word strawberry, just because you see a result for strawberry, you know it's strawberry. Um, I'm going to type that in there and see what happens. There are four, and I can instantly see that the first one has strawberry in the title. Um, I've lost my train of thought already, what I was going to say on that. Um, we'll persevere. Um, um, I'm going to put the word strawberry in here. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. So what I can't do is say, actually, you know, what I'm going to look through these in a second because I know that Racket has transcripts, which are transcripted um, written versions of the audio. I'm assuming that the, I will be able to find the word strawberry in all three of these. I'll do that in a second. What I can't do, because I don't have access to the database behind the site, I can't say whether this is all of the results that should have been displayed. There could have been hundreds and hundreds of other rackets that I don't know about that should have appeared in this list. All I can say is what's here looks correct. We'll find out in a second. But I can't say it's everything that should be there. Uh, and that's worth bearing in mind um, in terms of assumptions or, or you know, restrictions. Uh, you know what? Let's write it down. My profile search results against database. How have we got for 13 minutes already? Right, let's have a quick look at these three. Um, of note, within the interface here, uh, the plus button will let me add it straight to my queue. Um, I don't think I showed you my queue at the top earlier. Um, also, my queue is not visible while I'm on the search results page. That's irritating a bit. Okay, that's a shame. Um, so I can add it to my queue for later listening, or I can click on it and listen to it now. Um, I can't get into the transcript without going into the post, so I'm going to have to do that right now. Um, but if I click into this one, and if I look at the transcript, uh, I'm going to use my browser search feature just for speed and search for the word strawberry. There we go. How about strawberry, Henry? Um, so the words, it, that's correct. It's correctly um, found a result in a transcript. Um, words matched in. So we've seen words matching in the title of the racket. We've seen it matching from the transcript. Um, it's worth noting that we've seen those things. Uh, let's go back and look at the other, the other two quickly. I assume it's going to be very straightforward. I've seen the film Minari. Uh, it's lovely. I think best described as lovely. 
uh, and that's interesting. It's not got the word strawberry in it, but it has got strawberries. Now that's interesting. That could mean one of two things. It could mean they're doing something very clever with dictionaries and pluralization, so that when you type in strawberry, it knows that the plural of strawberry is strawberries with IES, and it's gonna have found that. Or there's some sort of fuzzy matching going on in there so that it doesn't have to entirely match the word. Um, so I'm gonna just, again, there's no real structure to this. Um, I mean, there's a bit of structure, it's a mind map, but um, this is just me capturing my train of thought. So we're about strawberries too, but we're gonna do something else, a search around that to establish whether there's fuzzy matching going on. Let's check the fourth one in the list. Making good food choices, that sounds like it could talk about. Strawberries. And Melissa has said, again, strawberries with a plural. Twice. Um, now, I mean, it found the word twice in there. Should that mean that, should that result have been higher? Um, which immediately makes you think, I don't know anything about the ordering of these search results. Um, this is a later question. Order of results. Possibly most recent first. Most of the things on the site are the most recent first or the most popular first. If you're going to pick an order, I guess that would be it. It certainly doesn't appear to be the view counts. Um, it has put the one that had strawberry in the title first, so maybe it prioritises title matching. Um, question, oh, I've got to put that in, in ugh, undo, undo. Um, does it favour matches in title? That's something we could look at. Um, but we want to look at um, whether there is some kind of fuzzy or pluralised matches going on here. Uh, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to pick a... What word am I going to pick? Something a bit more commonplace than strawberry, but not so commonplace like the... Uh, I'm going to go with... Um, table. This might be, might be a rubbish choice of word. We'll have a look. Uh, and again, I'm going to cheat by using... Search the word table in my browser. There you go. So table has matched tablets. So there's certainly... Um, if there's more to the word, it will find that. Um, which possibly brings later questions... Um, can you search for a, ah, just a, and will that find anything that has an a in it? Um, but right now, let's focus on the on the table. What is there anything here that looks like tables? We saw tablets, obviously, but that wouldn't explain why strawberries matched. Um, what sort of I want another word? Um, tell you what, I'm going to cheat. There's one I used earlier. <laughs> one of the first things I do. Let's turn this into a not safe for work video. The first thing I do when I get a search feature is, what? how many people have put that word into their search? Don't say it out loud in case there's kids in the room. And one thing I noticed there was Funkbuster. Now that doesn't have the search word in it. And we'll just double check the transcript as well to make sure it's not in there. But what I think that shows us is there is a fuzzy match because that's one character different from what we searched for. So if I just look in the transcript to make sure that Chad hasn't been effing and jeffing, I don't know if that phrase trans uh, follow, goes across the Atlantic. Search in here. No, he's definitely only typed funk. Um, so this is possible specification. Fuzzy match. Any one character different. And then if I try and change a second character, first of all, let, let's make that really clear. Let's put something that isn't even a word. If I put a Z in there instead, do we still get funk buster? We do. If I change a second character in there, do we still get a match? We don't. And that has given us our first look at the what happens if zero results uh, thing. No rackets found, no volleys found, no tags found. Tags get us a lowercase t, whereas everything else gets a big t. I don't care. It might go on to the does it matter list. These are really, really not priority issues, but... Um, Presumably also I can click on these filters and, and see further proof. No rackets found. No racketeers found. No tags found with the lowercase t again. No volleys found. All is good. Interestingly, something else I just noticed up there is the names that it's using on the in the page titles are different to the words here. So volleys. Oh, no, don't send it to my device. That's the last thing I want to do. What I had in the URL here was search slash prompts. Now that suggests to me that maybe prompts was an earlier internal name for what became volleys. Volley is obviously the, the clever, cool name to use on a site called Racket. Um, I suspect that that is leaking out internal names from somewhere. 
possibly the database itself calls and prompts. Now, if this page is new and the search page sorry, is new, now would be a good time to nip that in the bud. Um, for things like SEO, for example, or, or just for people browsing the site, like what, what's a prompt? Um, I'm going to put that in here, prompt URL. What have I got for the other ones? Tags are called tags. Racketeers are called users. I think that's the same as prompt, basically. Yeah, we'll call them users and then we'll call them something cooler, which is racketeers. So I'm going to put prompt and users in URL. Uh, rackets are rackets are posts. Okay, I wonder what happened before the name racket came along because you'd think that'd be the first thing you started with. Um, so I'm going to put those there. Um, it may already be past the point of no return for changing those because these um, URLs are out there and they're being used and they're maybe being circulated. So uh, it may well be we don't care, but I noticed it. It's worth um, worth flagging up. So we didn't get any physics. Um, Multi-word searches. Um, now we've been going 20 minutes. I, I think this is immediately going to open another huge can of worms. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for what's a really common two-word phrase. Sliced bread. Best thing since sliced bread. Who's been racketing about sliced bread? 14 people. Um, entirely possible because it's a common phrase. Um, and Again, I assume if we scroll down here, we're going to see there are 10 and then a C more link. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. Well, that's confusing. Oh, hang on, I've still got the filter on. Okay, I've still got the filter on for rackets. My apologies. I go to all. There we go, we get 10 and more. And there are no volleys, tags, or racketeers for sliced bread. Um, are there any immediately in the title? Uh, no. Let's go into a transcript and see whether people have talked about sliced bread. Grace thinks it's sliced bread. Determined to find one that doesn't. I'd be surprised if Lewis Carroll had used the phrase sliced bread. Um, I could get lost down a rabbit hole, if you pardon the pun, um, of where that phrase originated from. No. Now, sliced bread is not in there. Slice is... Oh, OK. So is it doing fuzzy matching on the words independently? We've got the word slice and the word bread. So fuzzy match, any one character different. Um, we now know that, as well as being different, could be all missing because we searched for sliced and it found slice. So that's still a one character difference and the difference was that character was missing. Um, and it looks like by default it didn't do a search for the two words together. It found bread and it found slice. Um, so um, multiple words are searched independently. Now we'll do some stuff around what happens if we put quote marks around it and see whether we can actually do a, a phrase search um, in a second. Um, what I just want to do again, just for the sake of being a tester, I want to really prove that that is what's going on again. By If I put slice x bread, again, slice x isn't a word, but we know it allows one character different, and the absence of that x should cause Lewis Carroll to appear near the top again. It does. In fact, the results look exactly the same, I think. I oh, know there's only 12. I think we have 14 for sliced bread. Again, I'm noticing things that are probably, there's probably a reason for that. Um, I don't have time to, to go and look through all the transcripts of all 12 and 14 and work out why, but... It's probably correct, but um, yes. But now what we have here in the results is we have two scenarios. We have one where Mark John did use the phrase sliced bread, and we have one where CS Pot Talk or C Spot Talk. I keep thinking this is a talk about weed, but it's it's C Spot Talk. <laughs> but I always read it as CS Pot Talk. Um, anyhow, let's see if we can get it to return just one and not the other, because only one of them is talking about sliced bread. Now, what I would normally do in a search on another site is I would enclose this in quotes. Interesting. We get fewer results. We get seven results this time, but it's still got both of those in it. So we lost some by putting quotes around it, but not all of them. That's not I would what I would have expected to happen at all. We should definitely have lost this one if it really is doing a phrase search. Um, uh, Multi-word searches. Um, noticed word search independently. I'll put that elsewhere. Right, let's try and find something useful. Let's try and find one that was in this list of 14 that disappeared and see if we can work out why it might have disappeared. Um, this is going to be a memory test. I could open multiple windows or do screenshots or something. Um, let's have a look. Um, I know Beth, so we'll look for Beth, Mohammed, and Steve and also if memory serves. Let's see if we re-add the quotes. Do either of those disappear? Uh, 
uh, Beth disappeared. So let's go back to Beth's transcript. Look at what the, what had in there around the word sliced and bread and why putting quotes around it might have made it disappear. Da -da 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 -da. You can already see I could be going at this for hours and hours and hours if I wanted to. So again, the whole concept of, you know, it's only one search field. Um, the amount of stuff you can do on here is, is huge. So slice. There is the word slice. Bread isn't in there at all, but we know it can be one character different. So is there the word read in there maybe? Spread. It's got spread. If I go back and do, again, I, I'm really thinking out loud here because I'm trying to work out what's going on. If I put sliced spread in quotes, is that enough to keep Beth's racket in the list? And if it is, I think I might know what's happening. There's Beth. Interestingly, we've also got the other one that didn't have the phrase sliced bread in. Now, is it just ignoring the... the it's either, I think it's either ignoring this altogether and not doing a quote search, or when I say it does a fuzzy match with one character being different, it's counting the, the quote mark as a character and therefore making fewer things match. Either way, I'm just going to sum, summarise it as I feel like sliced bread should work as a quote search. It doesn't. Again, you want to know why, you can watch the video. Um, that definitely feels like something that should be doing different to what it's doing now. The fact that I've just sat there and puzzled over it for five minutes is usually kind of a smell of that's probably not quite right. Um, but obviously it, it's not a priority for the team right now. It's completely understandable. Um, one other thing I've noticed now that I've actually raised with the team before, and, and I should say, the Racket team have already, I, I did a post maybe two weeks ago of like things I'd love to see appear on Racket. Search was one of them. The addition of tags was one of them. There was something else massive that I asked for that has just appeared out of nowhere. Um, and yeah, so I, I totally um, love the way that they're building the site. Um, one of the things I did, did ask for back then was, um, it's really not obvious the, the date and time that something was posted. And this now becomes more important when we start to have searches um, because, you know, um, maybe it's some. Maybe someone's had a live chat. Maybe maybe I want to have a chat with Beth about this conversation she had, and I can't say. Remember that conversation you had in May, or that conversation you had yesterday. Um, we really need to begin surfacing that somewhere. I feel like. Um, um, I'm just at it here. Um, I don't know when things are posted. Um, I've said it before, but it, it's it's becoming more important now. Let's look quickly down our happy paths. We've, we've got, I want to wrap up in about five minutes because otherwise no one's going to watch this video. <laughs> um, but um, all I'll say is I, I might carry on doing some more testing offline um, and, and, and share that, that with the team because I feel like it could be valuable. Um, emoji searches. Um, I'm all about the emojis. So I'm going to search for an emoji. Um, that's probably quite a shortcut for emojis now. Search for the rocket because I know I've used the rocket emoji before. Uh, I don't know how the Windows emoji keyboard works. We find six rackets. One, two, three, four. They've all got it in the title. Hey, look, I've got a new job at Postman. I start that next week. Um, no one has used the rocket uh, in a volley or a tag. Um, there are some people who've used it in their profile. Um, yep. Yes, it is. Um, can it find emojis in transcripts? Now, I know that I have um, written some... I've manually edited some transcripts on some posts um, and put some emojis in there. So I actually have some test cases I can use myself. Um, I'm going to go into this one, which again is all about my new job. No, I'm not. I've not put the transcript up for this one yet. Uh, let's go to the next one. Look in the transcript for this and pull an emoji out. Uh, there's a smiley face. So that is not in the title of this uh, racket. But hopefully, and based on everything we've seen so far, hopefully it should be capable of finding uh, my communication dreamy was the title of the, of the uh, racket. Huh. Okay. Now that actually is a surprise. Because we know, A, we know it searches transcripts. B, we know it can find emojis from the racket title, certainly. Why is that not matched? Again, it might not be important, but it's a really interesting smell. So I'm going to write it down. I love that the first emoji search I did. I promise I hadn't practiced that search. Um, search for blah. Didn't find it in transcript. Now, as I said, I have manually modified that transcript. I wonder, is it only 
searching transcripts that have been created automatically, because they're automatically generated whenever you record, um, as opposed to that emoji, which only came in when I manually edited the transcript. Now, there's a way we can test that, because uh, I like to provide as much information as possible. This would be a nice way to finish for now, I reckon. There's so much more I want to do. <laughs> Hopefully, this is giving you an insight into you know, what life is like for a tester. I mentioned I haven't yet modified the transcript for this post because I only put it up today and it takes uh, Racket a few hours sometimes to bring in the transcript. Uh, there is the transcript. If I go into the edit screen for this, I'm going to add, it, add the word banana at the start of my transcript and hit save. Um, now, if I search for the word banana, does it find it? Now, there may also be like an indexing delay, um, which means this might not be a useful test anyway, but if I search for the word banana, do we find it? We do not. So it could be an indexing thing. It could be that it's not picked up the word banana yet because I've just put it in, but it feels like, um, does it not search manually edited transcripts. Um, because I know from my um, chats and rackets and DMs with Matt Gay, one of the co-founders of the site, that he was saying, oh, um, one of the good things you do when you have a search is it will, you know, you can add keywords into your, before tags came along, he said, we'll put keywords into your transcript because the search will find it. It actually looks like maybe the search won't find it. Um, I could be wrong. And like I say, it could well be um, indexing. Um, or is it an indexing delay? Um, I'm going to go away and fix my transcript now anyway because I'm not going to leave banana in there. But um, yeah, so that's a very, I mean, that half hour has, has flown by. Ho hopefully you've not been too bored watching it. And um, I think we've touched upon most of these things here. We've seen that what happens if zero results. Um, and I'm going to put it looks roughly fine because it does. That's all I'm doing right now is just, just going around seeing what's going on. There are loads more things um, that I can think of. Uh, and if it's your first um, exposure to a, a test um, scenario like this, what I'll do for, you, for your own benefit is bringing up a thing called Test Heuristics Cheat Sheet, which was created by uh, Elizabeth Hendrickson. Um, and it's hugely popular in the world of testing because whenever you're short of test ideas, come to this two page PDF and it will just tell you a whole, a whole load of things. So prompts here that I could use to, to guide my further testing. Long words, yeah. Um, if I genuinely had a word that was 100 plus characters um, long, um, would the search be capable of finding it? Is there, or is there a, a limit to the phrase search? Could I, could I put, could I dump the entire um, context, content of my transcript in there and it would match just mine because it had the whole transcript in it? Um, I could test it now, I won't. Um, the use of special characters. Um, we've already noticed the oddities around phrase searching. Um, I did do a brief, a brief um, test earlier that looked like it was stripping certain characters out. So we did test at the start. One of the things I did earlier, so there's test with its thousand plus. I did try with a whole load of dots in there and found, I think, the same results. So it looks like certain characters are getting stripped out, which again may confuse things like the phrase searching that I think might be happening. Um, so something else is going on with characters there. Um, we haven't really tested properly. Stripping off certain characters, e.g. dots. Um, but yeah, this, this cheat sheet, which I will link in the description, like I say, I really am not gonna run out of ideas for, for tests that I might like to run on that search box. Um, are they valuable or not? Um, it depends. Um, it depends what the value is. The search appears to be functioning roughly as you would expect insofar as you search for something, it, it brings a result back. But as the site grows, um, you know, it's going to get harder and harder to pin down those things. There are maybe only a, a few thousand or maybe 10,000, I don't know, rackets on the site at the moment. Um, but, you know, as you get into the millions, you really want your search terms to really just bring back the things that you, that you asked for. Um, and anyway, yeah, so there are thousands and thousands of more tests that I could run here. Um, hopefully this has been good fun for you. Uh, I'm going to continue working on this in my spare time. Uh, it's quite late in the evening here in the UK, so it may not be tonight. Um, but yeah, that's what we do as testers when we want to start looking at something and you go, it's just a box, isn't it? Um, it's much more than that. I'll speak to you all again soon.